Oh, yeah. Fresh flesh. Dead. What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today we talk damage builds. I made a video when the update came out about two weeks ago, trying to predict some of the good builds for the new meta. But I said we'll give it a few weeks and see what good builds emerge. Today we talk damage builds with 12 combat. Now if you want to skip the details, at least watch the gameplay at the end because this build will give you insane numbers now there's two variations of this build that are very popular right now is 8 agility 12 combat or 6 12 2 okay so you're gonna swap the two points in survival in agility you're gonna lose some survivability you're gonna gain a bit more mobility so we'll see a bit later but let's start with the 12 combat points why 12 combat in my previous video i thought some guys would probably play 13 combat for hunter mines with 5 and 2 instead of 6 and 2. Apparently Hunter Mines are just not good enough to justify uh, losing a point in survival or uh, losing a point in agility. But 12 points in combat is really worth the investment for the late skills. Like first of all, the Iron Sight damage got a buff. It used to be 8%, it's now 15% extra damage while aiming down sight. Lord of War is the star of the build, is 25% extra damage on your secondary weapons. So machine gun users, sniper users, in PvP or in PvE, it's really gonna increase your base damage and that's why you end up with such big numbers. Sentry gun is there, you don't build around sentry gun but it's there for you to use if you go with a high combat build. Magazine max out is super popular in PvP also, so good to have of course. Now the elite damage boost, I think it got buffed, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was 15 before and now it's 25. So uh, anyways, 25 to elites, 25 on the secondary and 15 on the iron side. It almost doubles your base damage overall, it's pretty crazy for real. Now the rest of the stuff is more PvP stuff like stunner, uh, gunslinger I don't use that much. Um, but then the accuracy, the 15% marksman skill, uh, it's not something that you really need in PvE, but it's good to have. Now you decide if you want to go or not for the two survival points, but what you get really is the survival kit and the 15% extra HP. It is a lot of HP, it's going to help you survive. And then again, it's going to depend on your role if you play in team uh, in PvE. Uh, what do you have to do? Do you need the health kit or not? Do you need the extra HP or not? Because what you're gonna lose if you go for the HP, you're gonna lose the sprint speed. It's 10% at max level, your ability to sprint. Now, what I want to say guys is if all three players use the same build, you're gonna lose some time on the long runs, depending what you do, of course, depending what dungeons. But I'm thinking Voltaic Fist, for example, it's good to have at least one guy in the team that's gonna run faster because one guy has to go at the start all the way to the switch then all the way back to the elevator. This guy needs to run faster if you wanna save some time, right? Then it's the same guy that's gonna run the whole basin all the way to the switch C. So if you get, I know 10% is not a lot, but over all the distance that you run every day if, you're, if you got that roll, well, it would be nice to have the extra speed. Now same thing for survival kit, you need it or not depends on your role. If you play silver arena and nobody has it, like who's gonna do the decimators? I mean, I know you can do it without the survival kit, but you're gonna maybe, even if you deal more damage, you're gonna have to run around to stay alive. So while you run around, you don't deal the same damage because you're not shooting the bag, you're trying to survive. So, I mean, one guy I think should have the extra tankiness i mean i could do a whole video about the different roles but this is not the point today just saying the combat builds are nice but is really damage oriented and dealing more damage does not always translate in faster speed runs because the trash will die no matter what it's really about boss fights and melting elites but not having a m bomb means you need to fight longer even if you're dealing more damage you're still gonna have to run, you're still gonna have to get rid of the trash. 
so yeah it's good to have at least one am bomb in the team uh, one more thing i wanted to talk about is the sparta kick i left it at zero because i don't want the sparta kick to activate uh it depends what you do in pvp i know it's good in duels it's awesome but in arenas if you're back to the wall and the enemies spawn in front of you you don't want to kick them because you want to shoot the back and get the big crit numbers if you kick them uh they land on the ground you're missing some crits and you're not killing faster i don't really see good situations to use sparta kick in pve myself i know some guys like it but not a big fan now the good stuff that come out of this build is the insane damage that you can deal fast and some situations i really like is once again the boss fight uh you look at the gameplay again the blade dancer fight if you know what you're doing and you got two guys shooting the back it's gonna die in a flash another one is the hive mind first phase is when you have to like kill the four data hives and shoot the bottom part of the boss if you can do it in the first go without the boss reshielding you're gonna save a lot of time on the boss fight because when he reshields you have to kill the four clusters again they respawn more uh, red blinkers so you have to kill the blinkers also and then you have to shoot the bottom part again so it's a whole minute i guess at least that you're saving there on the hive mind dungeon so i will leave you guys with some gameplay look at the boss fights the elites fights the hive mind the blade dancer it really is awesome but once again it's teamwork someone needs to tank someone needs to get the aggro so leave me a comment below tell me what you think hope you enjoy the gameplay i will be back soon with more thanks for watching Twenty three something. Twenty eight. So we got zero AM bomb this time. I guess I'll supercharge on the third wave then. Mr. Two Chord Man. Ah, he turned. He dead anyways. So red doors. And let's try not to get too close. Tur the something. For some reason, he turned to us. 3,000 in the back. Hello, big boy. Oh, is that all you got? Red boars. dead freaking crazy 13 something i miss a lot of shots at the start i didn't miss crits on that one it was all in the back he didn't turn show me the yellow guy kind of died quick did i go too quick
wasted the clip. Man, this thing shoots really fast. It's easy to waste ammo, right? The explosion damage. I did okay, man. I did okay. Squad perks? What would that be? Get it in there. We did it, boys. We did it.